time slowed to a halt, like a steam train. Richard sat quietly for a few seconds, allowing his insides to catch up. Then he listened for sounds within the tower. He thought his breathing was a bit erratic, so he tried to steady it, but it was not only his breathing. There was someone else in the room. A young boy in pajamas and dressing gown, was crouching in a corner, terrified and shivering. He was slightly younger than Richard. He flinched when Richard turned to him. The prince had not expected anyone to be in the room. Hey! Who are you? The boy shook his head and the rest of his body followed suit. Richard crouched beside him. Do you live here? He doubted it very much, but he did not know why else the boy would be there. The boy managed to ask, in a shaky voice, Are you one of them? Who? Ghosts, the princes? Richard realized that his own clothing was, once again, out of time. He touched the boy who shrank back. It's okay, I'm no ghost. I saw you appear, from nowhere. I'm still no ghost, said Richard. I'm, a time traveler. The boy changed his expression slightly. He looked Richard over and then poked him gently. Really? What century? Richard sighed, and rested on his heels. Several. The boy examined the sword. So, that's a real sword. Richard nodded. What's your name? James. I'm Richard. Like, the boy sniffed and considered Richard again. Like Richard of Shrewsbury? The two boys gazed at each other in silence for a moment. Maybe, said Richard. What are you doing here? He died, said James. Richard of Shrewsbury died, or, maybe. Maybe he just disappeared, said Richard. Like magic. Or time travel. You stopped shivering. James noticed that too. I know, now, that you're not a ghost. Did you bring me here? Richard smiled. If I had, I would not have asked, what you were doing here. I don't know how I got here. I was in bed. Then I was here. There's been a lot of stuff going on, said Richard. But I'm here to help put things back to normal. Are you coming? Coming where? Out of here, Richard said. Out of the tower. I'm hoping I'll find my brother. He's also been working to put things right. I don't know what you mean, said James. What's been happening? Richard took him to the window and showed him the sleeping people scattered by the river. Was it a terror attack? Asked James. I didn't hear anything. I still don't know how I got here. Maybe the question should be, why, you got here? Richard crossed to the doorway, but James held back. Your brother. James stared at the prince. Is your brother King Edward? Are you the princes in the tower? What the heck? No. I've seen your tombs. You are dead. It was not us. Said Richard. Whoever they put in that tomb. It was not us. But I can't stay and convince you. I have to go. I need to get out of here. He started climbing down the stairs. Wait. James followed him. The gate will be locked at this time of morning. You can't just wander around, unless you really are a ghost. Well, come on, Richard urged him. But I don't think there'll be any guards. Are you kidding? James hurried after him. This is the Tower of London. Crown jewels and stuff. I doubt they'd even let me in. Why? Who are you?